We good? Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Chris Pave, and I work for the National Oceanographic Data Center in the United States uh, for NOAA. Uh, I'm here today to talk uh, about the services that we provide and see how they can help um, promote uh, data sharing, uh, product development, and research for the Caribbean Marine Atlas. Um, NODC collects uh, many types of data for um, uh, uh, oceanographic data from um, physical, marine, or I'm sorry, physical, chemical, and biological data. Uh, we collect these data from uh, in situ observations, remote sensing, and models. Um, not only do we archive data, but we also have uh, some well recognized um, products to include. Uh, the World Ocean Database, which is the, the world's largest collection of quality controlled profile data, which include um, uh, physical, biological, and chemical data. Um, we also have the World Ocean, Ocean Atlas, uh, derived from the World Ocean Database, which is um, gridded mean fields for uh, temperature, salinity, oxygen, and other nutrients. Um, at finer resolution um, for gridded mean fields, we also have the, um, we also generate uh, climatologies such as the Gulf of Mexico regional climatology. Um, we also host and contributed to the Gulf of Mexico data atlas and I'd like to point out that we did that uh, with the help of IODE and, and ICANN um, which was um, uh, done kind of in response to help with uh, issues related to the, the Deepwater Horizon event which we suffered uh, a couple years ago in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, the other uh, products of interest possibly are the coastal water temperature guide which is near real time uh, surface water temperatures and we also uh, offer a satellite product which is called the coral reef temperature anomaly database also known as uh, CORTAD. Um, this is kind of the bread and butter of what we do this is our main mission at NODC which is to um, acquire data starting um, on the left hand side there for you, yes. Um, we acquire data, which we call ingesting it. From there, we describe and disseminate the data down into its metadata, which we have in, which we put into um, relational databases and uh, ISO um, uh, standard uh, metadata formats and XML, which is XML. And this information gets pushed out to our web accessible forms, uh, which not only we make use of in our uh, metadata portals. Um, but also for anybody else that wants to harvest our data for federated uh, portals. Um, we also recently started creating DOIs, which is our, um, in case anybody's not familiar, they're digital object identifiers, uh, similar to the, what's used for publications. Um, and we've, uh, we've recently started doing that probably in the past year. Um, we also have archived the originator's data uh, and the way that we receive it to preserve um, any work that was done by the person that provided it, and we also uh, back up these data. We provide uh, services to these data through many of our portals, such as, um, what is this? These are uh, direct access to the portal, such as HIRAC servers, uh, thread servers, um, and we also offer um, visualization tools, such as the LAS, which is a live access server. And from this, we, when we have the expertise for a particular data set or um, uh, whatever the case may be, we create products for these data as well and, and also offer them through all of the available uh, portals, and which gets it off to the customers. Um, I'm not sure that's what I wanted to say. Yes. All right. Um, one of the other reasons we're here uh, is to, you know, offer not only our services to facilitate uh, data sharing, uh, but also to um, help with capacity building in these, uh, these areas. Um, I brought up Peru and Chile because we did a couple things uh, for them that I thought may be of importance to this group. Uh, for, for Chile, we actually um, were the public portal to their data for a while until they were actually able to get their own uh, public portal up. Uh, I do not know the status of that right now. I don't know if we're still facilitating that need for them. Uh, but at one point in time, uh, we were their conduit to the public for releasing their data. Uh, for Peru, uh, we helped uh, standardize the formats of uh, a large collection of their biological data to make it more interoperable for scientists and other persons that wanted to make use of it. 
which was pretty important. And plus, it, it helped us to uh, further develop our databases and uh, make our products all the more valuable. Um, we also do data processing uh, if needed. I currently am working with uh, the NOAA fleet and the UNOLS fleet, which is the academic fleet uh, of the U.S., to process their CTD data. Um, we also have 20 plus years experience of uh, quality control database management, uh, such as from the World Ocean Database. Um, we also um, work with uh, partners for regional products. Uh, one of the ones that I had mentioned already was the Gulf of Mexico Atlas, a uh, data atlas, apologize. Um, and another one was the Nordic Seas Atlas, in which we worked with uh, Norway and Russia. Um, we most of the data from the Nordic Seas Atlas was provided from Russia, so it had little to do with the data that we provided. So we facilitated the services um, of developing this atlas uh, using their data, in which we actually had uh, people come over to, you know, we hosted uh, Russian scientists and, and researchers to uh, help produce this atlas. Uh, similarly, with the um, East Asia Seas Regional Climatology, uh, we also worked with them. We combined our data sets, uh, what we had for their region and theirs, to create a more comprehensive and higher resolution climatology for the area. Um, and also we enjoy um, collaborative research using these products and the data that are made available. Uh, one of the instances we've done, um, potentially in relation to climate change, is the regional heat and salt content. Uh, we have a standard global product uh, that we work on, but in order to uh, be able to do regional scale uh, heat and salt content, it does rely on local expertise from that community and uh, a significant amount of data in order to make those regional applications work. Um, I think that was my five minutes, probably. Um, any questions? Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay.